Hi, my name is Navy Ramkumar and we studied sex differences in outcomes after AAA repair. Given the sex differences in the presentation and treatment of abdominal aortic aneurysms, we wanted to study if there was any difference in the long-term outcomes after this repair. Um, the problem is there's not a lot of data on that. So we used VQI registry data and matched it to Medicare claims data to track outcomes up to 10 years after the index repair. So we found that after 10 years, there were no sex differences in outcomes after open repair, but after endovascular surgery, women were more likely to have an aortic rupture or die um, after their repair. We sort of expected that women would have worse outcomes after endovascular repair. Um, what was surprising is that we didn't see that they had a higher reintervention rate compared to men. So there was no difference in the number of times they had a reoperation after their initial repair. Why women are more likely to undergo open versus endovascular repair, it's an interesting question. We think it might have to do with their aortic anatomy, so women tend to have shorter aortic neck lengths and their aortas are a little twistier, uh, which makes it harder to do an endovascular repair. It's definitely a thing where most stents and devices are built towards a male population. Um, the randomized control trials that test these devices have a very low enrollment of women. It's somewhere, you know, less than 10%. So most are usually closer to none. Um, so absolutely, that's a factor. Questions I might want to ask if I were in the position of having to receive a AAA repair. Um, I would want to know if I would be eligible for endovascular repair. Um, and if I'm not or if they have concerns, I think I would prefer an open surgery. Based on our results, I think our chances will be better, but that being said, I think it's not that women should just always be treated with open repair, it's that we have to make a greater effort to deliver the benefits of endovascular repair to women as well as men. Given these findings, we'd really like to understand more of how the mechanism works into leading women to have worse outcomes, especially since we see the, the drop-off happening a few years after their repair. We know it's not immediately procedurally related, um, so it would be interesting to study why these gender differences are arising.